volume of a sphere. Consider the cylinder with height and radius equal to R. The volume of cylinder, V equals pi times R cube. Consider the cone with height and radius equal to R. The volume of cone, V equals one third pi times R cube. Consider the hemisphere with radius equal to R. How to define the volume of hemisphere? The statement, the volume of hemisphere is equal to difference of cylinder and cone volumes. Then the volume of sphere is equal to 4 over 3 pi times r cube. Let us consider cross-section of our figures by the horizontal plane. The cross-section of our figures will be the circles. The size of these circles depends from the h, distance from the base. This is true for any age. Let's approximate our figures by slicing disks with height of delta. For each slice will be true this equality. If delta tends to zero then this equality will be still true for our figures. Examples Drop of water Tennis ball Basketball The Earth The Sun Curious relationship between volume and surface area of a sphere. Consider a sphere with a radius r. When the radius is growing, the volume of the sphere is growing too. Let's find the rate at which the volume of the sphere changes. Delta r is change of the radius, delta v is the change of the volume. Delta v over delta r is the rate of the volume change. When delta r approaches zero, the rate at which the volume changes approaches the value of the derivative. This equals to the surface area of the sphere. The rate at which the volume of the sphere changes equals to surface area of a sphere.